Yo my people, welcome to another Technical Mondays video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a recap of last week's trades and hopefully we'll be able to catch uh, trades this coming week. Yeah, be sure to watch the video till the very end and before you continue watching the video, do drop a like, subscribe and also comment down below. Guys, I've not been very active online, but I hope you understand and I hope you're taking value from this analysis that we are always doing on Mondays. Without wasting any time, let's go on the charts and I'll show you guys breakdown for the week that is coming up ahead. Let's go onto the charts right now. GBPUSD, uh, last week we were looking at GBPUSD to pull back. We were looking at it on the FXCM broker. Let's see how, how it went. Okay, so GBP USD, as we can see, this trade did not pull back to where we wanted to buy from. It just made a small pullback here and then it continued pushing to the upside. So we did not get an activation of this trade. Remember guys, some of you are sending me private messages asking me why we are not taking the trades that are not activating. This is all about patience. You have to be very patient with trading don't just trade trade only at relevant levels of structure or trade at support or resistance or demand and supply don't just trade okay so yeah we are looking now at this place here this is the four hour chart so we are looking at this area here okay this area is acting as a supply zone because you can see market dropped off from here and now it has gone back up there to do uh, to pick up more liquidity before it pushes a bit lower to retrace so we are looking to uh, place a sell trade to this level here but we'll only place a sell level once this law is taken out okay remember that that law has to be taken out this law here there is a law right here let me just put there a level small level there is a law here, okay? So until this law is taken out, we don't place a sell. We need to see something like this, market breaking below, then pulling back up slightly to maybe half of this range. Then we can place a sell to this level here, okay? That's what we should be looking at. So we just wait for the market to do that before we can sell from this level here, okay? Let's wait for it there and then we'll put our stop loss a bit here then we'll target this level here okay so that is it for gbp usd we're looking at this scenario here but if market pushes up above this level here like this wait for it to retest that level then we can place a buy trade to the upside okay so look at this for gbp usd let's look at gbp jpy quickly uh let's look at gbp jpy so gbp jpy uh did did pull back down and it's still pulling back down so we will still maintain our bias for gbp jpy we want to wait for it to still pull back down to this level here before we can buy okay so we are still waiting for gbp us uh, gbp jpy to reach this level here activate our trade then we can place a buy trade so We'll just move this here, okay? So we we'll just wait for it to reach here. Then we can place a buy trade on GBP, JPY. Okay, so let's look at our gold. Look at gold. So for gold, uh, we are looking at gold. Let's look at it from, um, let's look at it from uh, forex.com because that's the chart we we're looking at last time. Okay, so let's look at it from forex.com because that's where we analyzed from. So for GBP, uh, I mean for gold, gold did not pull back down the way we had anticipated to get it at a good price at a discount. It didn't pull back. So gold just pushed up to this level. You can see to reach that level now. So that's a very, very, very strong level of resistance on gold. So we should uh, look for some uh, market retracements around that level of structure for gold. You see, this is a very good level where gold has reached. So 
Last week, we didn't get any activation on gold. Uh, we are looking for gold to now pull back down to this area here of demand around that area. Then we can place a buy to go higher. Okay, that's what we're looking for on gold. There is a small level of demand around this area here. Okay, there is a small level of demand there. So wait for market to pull back to this level before we can buy gold. So we are looking at gold like this. We'll have a stop loss just at this level here. Then we can target um, we can target a one to two, one to three, but we'll look at a one to two for now, like this. Okay. So we're waiting for gold just to pull back a bit down here, activate this trade, then we can run with gold to the upside. Yeah. For the other trades, uh, we got stopped out of uh, CHF JPY trade. So we are no longer in that trade for CHF JPY. We got stopped out. For Euro USD, it is the same scenario with um, with with a uh, with a uh, with a uh, GBP USD. But you can see that this trade got activated, and we are currently in profit. As I told you, I told you to wait for market to pull back to this level here. Guys, you can see how good, how accurate these levels that I draw are. This is a level of demand, a good level of demand where market has pulled back into. Look at how it wicked out be below this level here. So if you had put your stop loss so tight, you would have been wicked out on this week here. That's why we put our stop loss below the wicks. So that we can have a safe safe entry. So this trade has activated on Euro USD, and we are in slight profit. Hopefully, it will continue next week to climb to the upside so that we can maximize profit. So we will still hold this trade on Euro USD. Okay, so this trade activated, we are in slight profit. So we've not gotten any loss so far from last week. We have those trades running for Bitcoin. I uh, just, uh, just thought I should throw it also in there for you guys. For Bitcoin, you can see the update for guys who are still holding these trades. This is a super long-term trade, guys. And it is super accurate, guys. You can see we are holding Bitcoin. But Bitcoin, we took these trades on the daily chart. For those of you who have been uh, following me, following this analysis on Bitcoin, uh, yeah, it is pretty much playing out exactly the way I had uh, looked at it about five months six months now ago it's pushing so you should expect that bitcoin should uh, come to a 50 fifty thousand fifty thousand mark around here that is the target for bitcoin so if you're holding bitcoin keep holding it until it reaches fifty thousand uh for for usd jpy USD JPY, we, we don't have any trade running on that. But what I will advise you to do is to hold on. Don't first take trades on, on, uh, on USD JPY. Just take the ones I've given you and run with them uh, as we'll wait for good or better signals to appear on, on uh, USD JPY. Otherwise, there is a small market structure that is developing on your, your, your USD JPY, which is a downward market you can see that this structure is broken and tested by this week and market has pulled down pulled back up here but it is now rolling lower okay you can see it's creating lows and breaking those lows creating this low and taking out that low here and then pushing up and coming back to take that low so we are looking at a small market reversal on U USD JPY but Right now, we can see that this bearish engulfing candle closed below this level here. So we will look for a uh, market to give us more confirmations, but we want to wait for it to push a bit lower. Come back to the test this, then you can maybe short it, short your USD JPY down. But for now, just sit on your hands, don't do anything, wait for it, okay? But this is a good level for a stop loss, then you can run with it for a 1 to 2, 1 to 3, whatever. So guys, yeah, that is it. That's the analysis for the week. Hope you guys will take uh, value from it. Take value, do leave a like, subscribe, and also talk to me in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, peace and out.